One of the great things about make.com is it has its own REST API that you can actually use to use make to automate make. Stay tuned and I'll show you how this works. My name is Andy O'Neill and I help entrepreneurs like you add automation to their business. When it comes to using the Make API, first of all, you need a Make account. If you don't have one, you can click a link in the description and go get your Make account. We're going to head over to the Make API documentation. And you can see here there is a Fundamentals section. And you can see that you can automate all kinds of things. Connections, data stores, notifications, scenarios, on and on and on. There's lots of things you can do with the Make REST API. We're going to jump over here and look at rate limiting. One of the important things to know is that based on your plan, you can hit the make API a different number of times per minute. For example, the core plan, if that's the plan you have, you can hit the API 60 times per minute or one per second or up to a thousand times per minute on the enterprise plan. So in this video, we're going to set up a scenario that will activate a scenario. It will turn a scenario on. So it's important to understand the scopes you need for the different API calls. So to activate a scenario, we want the scenarios right scope. So when we create our API, we want to only select that scope. We don't want to select everything because that could open ourselves up to more of a security risk rather than having an API key that does only what we need it to do. Okay, so we're in our make account. We're going to go down here and click on your name and click on profile then click on API. This is where we're going to create our API key. So we're going to click add token. And I usually like to name these based on what they're going to do. So I'm going to call it scenario, right? I'm going to skip down here to scenarios, right? Right there. That is the scope we're looking at right here that matches our API documentation. And we're going to hit save. Here's our API key. Just a note. Once you refresh this page, you will not see the entire key again. So if you want to save that somewhere safe, now is the time to do it. Now we're in our scenario and I've just created a basic trigger uh, where I have scenario ID equals an ID of an actual scenario on my account. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the make module. This is best found if you type for type scenario into the search instead of make. So click on make, and then we're going to click the turn a scenario scheduling on or off. Next, we're going to click create a connection and you can give this connection any name you want. And we're going to type in the environment URL. Now you just simply look at your account to see what you're on. I'm on US one. You might be on EU one. So we're going to go HTTPS colon slash slash US one dot make dot com. And then I'm going to paste in my API key and hit save. All right, so our API key is plugged in, our connection is created. We're going to select a method here that, that's either on or off, activate or deactivate. I'm going to leave that on on. And then I'm going to map my scenario ID from our trigger here and hit OK. I'm going to hit save and let's run that. Now we get an error. And basically what we're saying here is that scenario is already running. So if I if I turn this scenario on and left it and it regularly tried to turn on my scenario and it was already on, it's going to hit an error. So it's important to add a error handler here. And we're going to click ignore, save. Let's run that again. It's already on. The error handler handled that error from the scenario and it worked. So that's it. Start to finish. How to create your API key for make, how to incorporate it into a scenario and how to add the error handling if necessary. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.